guys, it's Miss Culbertson. Um, today we're going to talk about teen numbers. So I'm using a math tool right here, and the math tool I'm using isn't just a regular 10 frame, so I can get that light away. It's a double 10 frame. So do, 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 regular 10 frame, right? Five on top, five on the bottom, 10 in all, just like the fingers on your hands or the toes on your feet. Um, with this, it's kind of cool because you have two and you can still use it in a lot of the same ways. So you've got five here, and then you've got five there, and then you've got five here, and then you've got five here. So you have four groups of five, or you could say you have a 10 and another 10. If you have two tens, you have the number 20. So we'll talk a little bit about 20, but mostly we're gonna be working on the numbers 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So what I'm doing right now is I'm putting some counters on my 10 frame. And just for a few minutes, I'm gonna go over some of the things that I'm sure you know already, but it never hurts to be reminded. Okay, so right now I have a full 10 frame. Because it's a full 10 frame, I don't need to stress myself out counting, 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 counting. I know 10 frames. Do you know 10 frames? I know you do, because I taught them and you learned them. So you should know. So this is your 10 frame right here. It's full, it's 10. Poof, that's it. If I'm gonna add some more below, it's not gonna be 10 anymore, right? It's going to be 11, 12, count slowly, because I'm going slowly, 13, 14, 15, look at that, a nice row of five, 16, 17, 18, 19 and uh oh I'm gonna grab one more to make 20 okay so right now we've got two groups of 10 and that's gonna give us the number 20 just to make it easy I'm gonna write on the back and do some flipping this is the number 20 okay it has two in the tens place and zero in the ones place um, when we're working with numbers that are in the teens we're actually working with something called place value. And that's a fancy schmancy way of saying that all numbers mean something. You have to really make sure you understand what the numbers mean. So I'm just going to take some off. Just some, I don't know. Let's start with my favorite teen number. I don't know why. I always start with the same number. Um, do you know what that number is? If you said 17, you're correct. If you needed a little bit more time, I would like for you to go on YouTube and type Jack Hartman Subitize. Um, you can also just type in Kindergarten Subitize and that's going to help you Subitize with 10 frames. It's a really important skill. So this is 17 and the number 17 looks like this when we write it. Okay, It has a 1 and a 7. Why? Just because? Just because someone felt like it one day? No, believe it or not, there's actually a reason. So this one right here whoop, is the tens place. It shows how many full groups of 10. For a number to have a full group of 10, the whole 10 frame must be covered. This number is the ones place. This is telling you how many extra numbers are just hanging out on their own, chilling, having a great time, but not part of a full group of 10. So if you look at the yellow counters up top, Definitely a full group of 10. If you look at the red counters, we're not there yet. We haven't made it to another group of 10. So these are called extras or leftovers. Those are the words that teachers like to use to help it be, make it understood, make it understandable. But it's important to know that these are the ones. This is the ones place. Whatever number's hanging out here by itself is gonna tell you the ones place, okay? Tens place, ones place. One group of ten, seven extra ones. Now, just to put this in your brain because you're going to need it in first grade. If I did fill this back up to have 20, and then just for fun, off to the side, or maybe down here at the bottom, I think I can make this work. I have three more. Okay. Again, you don't have to start counting all over. Isn't that a relief? Because I know you've been counting all year long. And it's fun sometimes, but sometimes you just want to move on with your math. 
So you've got 10, 20, 10, 20. You're counting by tens. Count on 21, 22, 23. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. So if you're just looking for something extra to do or an extra way to help your counting, you can take lima beans, dried lima beans or dried kidney beans, um, cotton balls, beads, I'm trying to think of other little things, pennies, pennies are great, um, and practice counting, grouping the tens, grouping the tens, grouping the tens, counting the extra ones. Great way to use your time. Um, so back to this number, 23, it's written like this, okay? So the reason why it has a two here, uh, a two here is because you have two groups of 10. And the reason why it has a three here is because you've got three little tiny leftover ones, okay? That's place value. And when we're working with teen numbers, we're not just working with teen numbers. We're going to help you understand how numbers are built, how numbers are composed as they get bigger and bigger and bigger so that you might understand not so long from now what 120 is. You've got 100 and you've got 20 more. Or you might understand what 1,003 is. 1,003 more. Or a number like 3,645. 3,600s. Four tens and five ones. You still have leftover ones in the number 3,645. So if you're like, wow, wow, lady, pay attention because what we're learning right now is going to help you with those big numbers. It's even going to help you understand the number one million. So I have a little presentation with you and I'm not going to go through all of it. I will put a link to it so that you can find it and you can practice at home with your mom or your dad or your sister or your grandma or your aunt, whoever's working with you. And right now we're going to open it up and we're going to do the most important parts. Okay, so I have to make myself smaller. Still here, but I'm little. All right, so this is called tropical teen numbers. Oops, there we go. And I'm gone. Man, I wanted me to be on top, but you know what? We'll figure this out. I wanted my little image to be there, so if I had to explain things, I could. But I can always stop um, and put myself back on the screen. So how much is that? Yeah, you know, you know. We just talked about it. I'm not going to talk about it again. Okay, moving quickly. If you need me, if you need to pause between each one, pause. You know how to pause. You're a smart kid. If you are like, I've got this, just keep going. You are going to get out a marker, pencil, whatever you have, and you're going to write the number. You need to be able to write these numbers quickly. You also can do this. If you don't have marker, eraser, pencil, whatever, you can use your finger. Let's see if I can go back like this. You can use your finger and you can actually trace the number on your hands. So you can pretend this is the sand and this is your finger and you're tracing in the sand, okay? All right, let's go. What number is that? 12. So this is what the number 12 looks like, okay? Write it. And the next one. Oops. 13. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You've got a 1 and a 3. Next one. 17, there you go. So that's what 17 looks like. You don't have to spend your time counting that top. 15, you've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Great work. 11, good job. 19, so you know this one is nine because it's just one less than 10. It's just one more and it would be a full 10 frame, but it's not, so it's nine. Next one, oops. 14, great work. Good job keeping up that pace, getting quick with it. 18. 16. And last one, don't let me trick you. Yeah, this one is 20, and we know it's 20 because we have two groups of 10 and zero extra ones. Okie doke. Okay, fast, fast again. I'm going to use my red pointer. I'm going to go to a number, and you're going to say the number. Just kidding. It skipped. 
So we're just going to jump right on into this part right now. We're going to roll with the technical difficulties. All right. Adding with teen numbers is the big skill I want to talk to you about in this video. If you can compose a teen number, you can write an addition equation to match that number. So, move back up in the front here. We've talked about compose and decompose, compose and decompose all year long. The same way that we can do two and three, two and three make five. If we take away two, we're left with three. And if we take away three, we're left with two. It's funny because the screen's backwards, sorry. I'm not a YouTube star, I'm working on it. Um, so we've been decomposing numbers and then putting them back together since the very first day of kindergarten. When we're working with our teen numbers, it's really not that much different. So let's go back to trusty old 17, my favorite number over here. You see you've got 10 yellow and seven red. We're gonna pretend these are hot dogs, okay? I like hot dogs. And we're gonna have a hot dog stand and we're gonna have someone come and they're gonna order some hot dogs. They're hungry and they're gonna order a lot of hot dogs, okay? They're actually gonna order 10 hot dogs with mustard, 10 mustard hot dogs. And they're gonna order seven ketchup hot dogs. So we have 10 plus seven. Remember, the plus sign is a math symbol and it just means and. So we have 10 and seven, 10 plus seven. I'm gonna write an equal sign because I'm trying to figure out what 10 plus seven is. Is equals, is equals, they mean the same thing. So 10 and seven is do, 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 17, right? You were like, oh, I knew that. I was probably born knowing that. Just making sure, okay? So when you're looking at equations with these numbers, this is what I don't want you to do, okay? This is not uh, wrong. I do not want you going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen. You do not have seventeen fingers, okay? If you do, please call the doctor. I will call the doctor for you. You should not have seventeen fingers. Got it? You can count. You can use your fingers. I use my fingers all the time, but you gotta know how you're doing it. So the easiest way, if you're gonna use your fingers, is to count on from ten. You have 10, you stick it in your heart, 10, watch this, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I am holding up seven fingers. You have to have the background knowledge to know this is what seven fingers feels like. Because if you are trying to go 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, I don't know what seven, I don't, I don't know what seven fingers is, okay? You have some problems there, okay? So sometimes you count like this. Some people do that. I have trouble doing that one because I wasn't taught that way. If you do it like that, that's fantastic. Nothing wrong with that. I do it like this and that's fine too. But when you're counting on with your fingers, make sure you know how many fingers is what. That's really super important. So anyway, what I did, 10, add seven more, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, got me the answer of 17. Um, you could also get out a little tin frame. If you have, oops, it flew away, this dragon paper, and you've probably already cut it out and all that, so there's that. But you can use these to practice, um, and you can make a new one. You don't have to use the paper. Uh, your mom can help you draw a tin frame. It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And you can just use, like I said, cotton balls, beans, whatever you have around the house, just to practice seeing these numbers and counting. Um, so that's something you can do. You can draw it, you can count it, blah, blah. Capiche, capache, capiche, capache. All right, we're going to go back over here to the screen. And we're going to look at some addition equations. So part plus a part equals a whole. Part, part, whole. That's something probably you're like, oh, I hear my teacher say that in, her, in my sleep. So the part here is 10. The other part is 3. So 10 plus 3 equals 13. It's a piece of cake. You, you've got this. What's this part right here? 10. What's that part? 9. So 10 plus 9 equals 19. 10. 
How much is that? I'll move out of the way so it'll show you. Seven. 10 plus seven equals 17, okay? You can practice those upside down, backwards, inside out, over and over again until you, you know it, okay? Um, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time going over them with you like I would in school because I don't have as much time. But that's something I think you and your parents can work on easily if you need extra practice, okay? So let's look at this. We have a shark and he, he is on top of one of our numbers, okay? Our mission is to figure out what number the shark is hiding. So I'm gonna try this right here. I'm gonna try to put me here and I'm gonna put the shark over here. So we have two things happening and excuse my messy, messy background. That's just, that's just who I am. So we've got 10 plus three. That's not 10 plus three, is it? So I'm gonna get rid of some of the red ones. I'm not gonna touch my 10. I worked hard on that 10. I know it's 10. I don't need to keep putting 10 on there. I'm okay. If you need more practice, go for it. But you're gonna reach a point when it's gonna go, oh, that's 10. I don't need to keep doing that. So practice it until you're comfortable, okay? So we've got 10 and three more, Do do 13. I think I kinda did that backwards, but we'll do it better the next time. So if I have 13, what is the missing part the shark is hiding? He's hiding this part, okay? So the missing number is going to be 13. Let's see if we're correct. I'm just going to move him. Do, 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 do. There he goes. Okay, so we were correct. Let's look at the next one. We've got 10 and something, 10 plus something equals 17. So I'm going to do that counting on thing again, and y'all better know 17 by the time this is over because I talk about 17 all the time. Have 10. I'm going to keep putting counters on the frame until I get to 17. When my mouth says 17, I'm going to stop. So I've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. So now our job is to find the missing part, how many new ones we put on. You can supertize, you can count, both work right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's seven, I think it's seven. All right, boom, we were correct. All right, um, the next one. So we've got 10 and something, make 15. So if I've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, now I have 15. This is my yellow part. What's my red part? What number is the shark hiding? He's hiding five, okay? Do, do, do. We were correct. Sorry for this split screen. It's the best thing I've got to think about right now. Okay. All right. 10 plus something equals 11. 10 plus something equals 11. Counting on. It is like a dynamite strategy. 10 plus 11. Well, that wasn't hard at all. So what number is the shark hiding? It's the number one, right? 10 plus one equals 11. Let's check our thinking. Do, do, do. We are correct. Okay. 10 plus something equals 19. Now you're probably in your brain like a little pattern. You're like, uh-huh, I don't even have to count because I, I know how this works. And that's awesome if you see the pattern. Let's go through the steps just to make sure, okay? So I've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I got to 19, so I'm gonna stop. How many red counters? Nine, okay? So the missing number is nine. 10 plus nine equals 19. Check our thinking. Do, do, do. There he is. And when I share this presentation with you, um, you won't have to move him. You just click and he'll disappear on his own. All right. So the next thing that we're going to talk about just really quickly is subtracting with teen numbers. It's not as important in kindergarten for you to understand this, but I want to throw it out there for you so that you understand. So I'm going to go back into present for just a minute and I'm going to show you how to do it. So if you can decompose a teen, a teen number, you can write a subtraction equation. Decompose, breaking down, subtraction. Those words, 
they go together, okay? Imagine there's a wall behind my head. If I had the word decompose and subtraction, I would put them together. If I had the word compose, I would put the word addition next to it, okay? Just a little food for thought, something to think about. Okay, whole minus part equals part. So that's going back to five. If we have five and we take away three, we're left with this part, two. If we have five and we take away these two, we're left with three. Just that basic decomposition. So let's look at that number. There's 13 again, right? So we have an equation that says 13 minus 3. 13 minus 3. Wait a minute. What if I just cross out that 3? Because that's what you do when you show subtraction. You cross it out. If I'm crossing out those 3. What's left? Just one 10 frame. 10. Okay. Let's see if that works again. What number is this one? 19. Okay, our equation says 19 minus 9 equals, what are you thinking? Do you think it's 9? Do you think it's 10? Do you think it's a different number? Okay, let's look. We have 19. We're going to take 9 away. Whoa, what's left? 10 again. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty neat. Now, wasn't that so much easier? than trying to find 19 fingers and taking nine away or drawing 19 random circles. Yeah, so if you know a lot about how numbers are composed, you're good, you got it, you can do it. You can just take them apart using your brain. It's magic. All right, let's check this out again. What number? 17. 17 minus seven. It's the same thing. We're going to take away the 7. What's left? The 10. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So when you see a teen number and you're taking away this part, think about the way the number looks and the way it's made before you just go, oh, I'm going to draw a picture. I'm going to do this. I'm going to carry. I'm going to borrow. I'm going to do this. Look. Think about the number, okay? Um, okay, next thing. You can also do it like this. So we're back to 13, good old 13. Look at this equation. Can you read it out loud? 13 minus 10 equals. Okay, so we have 13 and we're taking away 10. I'm not going to start here and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and cross out those shells. That would be silly. I'm taking away 10, and look, right here, boom, I have 10. So I'm going to cross that out. What am I left with? Three. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's look at it down here. That is 19, okay? So if I have 19, take away 10, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not going to count back. I'm not going to drive myself nuts. I'm just going to cross out that 10 frame. Boop, ba doo doo What's left? Nine. Okay. All right. 17. 17. Oops. I don't think I fixed this one. Let me fix it. Well, there's that slide I was looking for earlier. Okay. 17 take away 10 is going to equal seven, just like all the other ones. Okay. Show you really quick. Boop, 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 boop. I don't even know what I'm showing you. Don't even. Ah. Okay. There we go. So if you had 17, and you crossed out the 10, you would be left with seven, okay? So I'm gonna share this with your parents so they can do it with you or you can do it on your own if you like. There's a lot more, I'm just kind of showing you here, of extra practice with teen numbers. I fixed this up so you can put them in order. Now you can't drag them, you can't move them, but you could write them down in order, okay? So I'll put those on Google Classroom for you guys to look at. Um, before I move on and stop, sorry, I had a technical difficulty there. Again, imagine that. I do want to talk to you about your work for this week. So these two, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, good practice. Um, one of them landed on the floor with the number words. It's just reading the number words, working on seeing the 
part of the word that's kind of like one, two, three, four, five, and seeing the teen. Easy peasy. Y'all got that. Let's take a look at this one right here. It says, yee-haw. Okay. A teen is a 10 and some leftover ones. Complete the equations. Okay. So it's might look intimidating, but it's really not. So I'm going to grab my marker, pencil, whatever I have in my hand, and I am going to get started. So, there we go. First thing you do is always the same. Pick up your pencil, write your name. Um, I'm going to do that quickly because I have to model what expectations look like for you. I can't tell you to do it and then not do it myself. Okay, so there's my name. I'm gonna look at this one right here. Goodness, this is all wonky. So easy peasy lemon squeezy, you have 10. I even did part of the work for you. I wrote the number 10 right there, so you have it. What are we adding to the number 10? One, two, three, four, five. We added five cowboy boots. 10 plus five equals 15, okay? If you knew that right away, cool. As long as you're not just guessing. If you didn't know that, let's go back and talk about what we've been talking about. Okay, just kind of revisit everything. Let me rest that right there. Perfect. So you don't have to count this again. This is 10, it's 10, it's 10, it's 10, it's 10 frames, it's 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, right? You're going to count on from 10. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There we go. Easy peasy. All right, on the next one, I've got some cacti, and I've got 10 up here. I've got that part right there. This number 10 goes with that, okay? So if I have 10 right here, I'm gonna see what I have to add on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, there's nine more. 10 plus nine, 10 and nine, 19, okay? If that was still tricky for you, no worries. That's why we're practicing. But I want you to practice counting on 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, you got it. It's good practice. Um, this one down here is more and less. If more and less is something you need extra practice with, there are some more and less activities that are in that little slideshow that I'm going to share with you. Um, we haven't practiced this with teen numbers yet, so it might be something that you just need to practice, but I know you'll understand it. You'll get it just fine, okay? Thank you. Bye. I'll see you another time.